confusion and clarity. What is the difference between the two? There is a deep connection between your confusions and clarity. Certainly clarity comes out of understanding your confusions. Remember, when you understand your confusions, clarity comes. When there is a situation when you do not know this way or that way, there is dejection, then it is a state of confusion and understanding is the way. Someone asked, when feelings and emotions arise out of me, they do not seem like just one thing. These always stir confusion inside. This is what happens when one finds himself caught between action and non-action, feeling and emotions. These always stir confusions inside. In that state I do not know which emotion it is. It seems half of one thing and half of another. Indeed the confusion is if it is something to be concerned about. There is no need to be concerned about it. Simply go on living. Live your confusions and do not try to get out of it. If you try to get out of it, you will drown in it more and more. You will create more confusions. A confused mind cannot get out of confusion. If the mind tries to get out of confusion, it will be like pulling yourself up by your shoelaces. Remember, if the mind tries to get out of confusion, it will be like pulling yourself up by your shoelaces. It will further accentuate more confusions, more state of inner conflict. The only way to come out of confusion is to accept it. Everybody is confused, otherwise all would have been Buddhas. This is the situation, this is the state when one is ready to, ready for the dawn of understanding, dawn of awakening. Everybody is confused in a state of inner conflict, otherwise all would have been Buddha. The moment you recognize your inner state of confusion, conflict, then your journey of transcendence begins. This is the context. Unless a seeker reaches to this state that he recognizes his inner state of confusion, conflict, dejection, the journey of transcendence will not begin. The whole world is confusion. Confusion is intrinsic to human mind. As long as you are living in mind, confusion is bound to remain. This is the situation that has happened. Confusion has very fundamental reason. There is ontology the most general branch of metaphysics concerned with the nature of the being. Ontology is the most general branch of metaphysics that is concerned with nature of the being. And confusion has a very fundamental reason. There is ontology to confusion. Man comes from the animals and man has become God, there is confusion. He comes out of animals and he has to become God and that is the confusion. His present state is one and the state that he wants to transcend to is another. Half belongs to the world of the animals, the unconscious part and the other half is trying to become conscious, absolutely conscious. Hence, the tension and confusion is always at the core. Man 
as such does not recognize this state of inner confusion. The moment it tries to remember, tries to recognize it, the, he is on the crossroads of the, the new journey. Both go on trying to manipulate you and you are never sure who you are. Whether to go this way or to go that way, you are being pulled between these two states and then confusion arises, inner conflict arises. There is a continuous war goes on between inner and outer, the right and wrong and you do not know which is the right way for you. Never try to escape from it, live it. This is life. Love it, go deeper into it and by getting deeper into it, you will be surprised. Your eyes are becoming clearer and clearer. As you look deeper into your confusion, it starts sorting itself out. Indeed, confusion will disappear only when animal in you stops asserting itself. It is your unconsciousness that is animalistic in you. Everyone carries a layer of unconsciousness within. And when and confusion is the outcome of this layer of unconsciousness, first this assertion has to stop and then the God too has to stop asserting itself, the higher. Then you are not pulled by either of the two forces. Once you understand this and your effort continues, then suddenly clarity comes. This is the beginning of the invention. If you go deep into any problem, one arises as its solution. The solution is hidden in the problem, it is never found outside. This is the first message that I remember after enlightenment. And this message came in a very unique situation. After enlightenment in 1972, I continued the professional career as economist and researcher. It was the occasion that I was writing books on econometrics and mathematical economics. There were certain mathematical and statistical problems and I was not getting the solutions. In that state I decided to go to the cafeteria and decided to order things to eat. The problems were on my mind. That morning I ordered more things than I will normally do. Then suddenly the words emerge from deep within. It is for the heart to suggest its problems and it is for the awareness to solve them through understanding and intellect. It was like Eureka to me. I ran to my faculty room and remained glued to the desk for almost 36 hours, even without bothering for anything and got all the solutions. Since then, it is my watchword through the life's roots and now I am sharing this insight with you. Every moment existence wants to assist you with something mysterious. It waits for your openness. The problem is simply an indication that the solution is within you and you are not looking for it. So you go into your confusion, allow it to assert itself, watch it and see it but there should be no condemnation. And do not be in a hurry to get out of it because whenever one is in a hurry to get out, understanding stops completely. What is the point of understanding something which you want to drop? And you cannot drop it unless you have understood it. This is the dichotomy. Try to understand it. In that very understanding, confusion disappears or in a conflict or despondency disappears. Clarity comes out of understanding your confusion. 
Answers come by going deeper into your problems. Certainly one day it happens. Confusion is gone. All problems too disappear and you are left alone. The beauty of that aloneness is nirvana or enlightenment. All remains as it is. Only now between you and the reality there is no more clouds. Everything is the same. So too you are the same. The world is the same. It is just the something between the two, the confusion, the clouds, the despondency is no more there. Look deep into your confusion. There is no need to be worried about it. Do not be concerned about it at all because concern means that you are getting ready to escape from it. Concern really means, when you are concerned about something, that means you are trying to get ready to escape from it. And that is the reason people create many devices. That is the reason people create devices. They repress it, they avoid it. But they do not look at it or they start distracting their mind through some other channels. But all these things are not going to help in any way. They will make you more and more confused, more and more inner conflict. In an effort to avoid confusion, you will create another. To avoid that, you will create still another. And this process goes on. Never avoid the first one. Go into it, watch it, let it be your meditation. If it is there, there must be some significance because nothing exists without any reason. By and by you will feel thankful for it because looking into it, you will become clear, more meditative, more alert and more aware, then finally you will thank your confusion that it has helped you to go out of it. Then finally you will thank your confusion that it has helped you. You will realize that it was an opportunity to go into awareness. It was just an opportunity knocking on your doors to help you to grow into awareness.